that from this body to pass it along to the legislature. Any proposed here? So no, do you want to put no, that on the future? So do you want to put that on a future agenda and mm -hmm. get it so we can move it on? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have it on for action tonight. No, we just ratify it. County Council would put it under fire, but we'd ratify it then. Just so we can get this ball moving forward if it's dead in water. I think in the, in the procedure, we, the, yeah, the fire district has to make the recommendation to the legislative body to get the tax increase. Tax you want to get on for the next one, okay? With the county council, so we go on the fire. Oh, I'll, the right. I'll, I'll go put it on right now. Is there any, any questions? Or oh. We're not going to throw it. We're going to do next time. So, what's the solution? Is it going to be the same thing that we had last time? Is it well, we have to go in the budget um, for next year. That's that's my understanding. We don't have the money. The fire district doesn't have the funds appropriated to do such a thing at this time. But um, it's it's time to start looking at that budget, and that's why you know we want to get this tax increase nailed down so that we can start planning those kinds of things and put out an RFP, find out what the actual cost is, and put that in the budget so that everybody understands. I mean, this is the thing. The advisory board, I think we are all on the same page, and I have two other members. Do we have anybody else? Two other, two, two of my other compatriots, and I would like to introduce them, by the way. This is Dennis Gowdy and Hi, Gary Kilgore. Uh, they both uh, are at the Fire and Rescue Academy in Provo. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of expertise. I've already been to this one the last meeting, but I wanted them to come and have you see their faces, if you have questions for them, they've got a great uh, experience level. Um, <clears throat> we're very concerned about tax increases as well, but if this doesn't happen, we cannot see a way to do to move forward without cutting services. Well, key to this is going to be communication, like you mentioned Absolutely. earlier, and that's why you're here and Absolutely. you're going to out to the public. And, and we have having a plan so we, we understand where the money's going, why mm -hmm. it's needed. Now we spent a lot of time talking about that today, about how we're going to justify a budget. It's not for us to sell it, though. I mean, it, 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 I've had people comment about that, selling the budget. Uh, we're not going to support something that it isn't justified, because it's just, you know, absolutely nailed down. Um, that's what we need. We need this plan going forward. And the funds that this tax increase would, would uh, provide will allow us to get to that spot where then we come up with the plan and we start moving forward. We're already doing things like collecting data. Um, we're already, we're, we're still in the process of learning how this district works. And that's where we are. So it's got some ins and outs that we need to still nail down. Jump in here if you have anything. Has anybody done the calcs on it, what it would cost the average single family home? Not yet, because we, you haven't For the 750? <laughs> it will well, we know the so. Well, if, if you take the rate that you choose and multiply it by your assessed value, then you will know what you get. On the sheet you gave us last time, we can we can use that. We'll give you the certified tax rate. You could give us. We could uh, look at your own tax notice and then, for instance, do your own. Based on I'm just curious about what that number is for a 300. Always whenever we do these in the past, I've always heard a no, for a 350 thousand dollar single family primary resident home. It would be. That, dollar that is part of the process, Wherever. and that would have to be noticed, and and that's what the public hearing is all about. And, you know, there are certain mm -hmm. uh, standards, and, and the we can have that information before we were asked to vote on it. Oh yeah, we, we can find that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we need to see that. This is one thing that uh, Mary may have felt in. Mary's got two more, you got two more broke fire engines right now too. Okay, that's figured in some of that, that 750. Those are some immediate needs just to keep things going the way they are now. So that 750 included like, some other items in there on, on some necessity stuff. You know, that's not so much a wish list. Okay, the things that the, you know, the advisory board felt needed to be accomplished to keep you up and running the way you're running now. 
Yeah, there's not a lot of fluff in that 750 bin. No. Very, very good. Well, we got a good board. We got a very good board. I was, I'm very impressed with the knowledge and the expertise that's on that board. It sounds like we need two two items on the agenda on the council meeting for next week, and that is one fire district. We need to go into the fire district and, and vote as a fire board, and then go back out of that and as a county council consideration slash back, uh, discussion class slash consideration of proposed tax increase for the for the fire, fire district. We all, is that is that appropriate? We have one other item we need to have on it for that. Uh, we need to authorize the chief to go out with an RFP for somebody to do a needs assessment and a capital facility plan. Are we doing that now before we before we do that? No, no. way to fund it. We no, it's going to be, like Mary said, it could be in the budget next year. But we'll, but we'll, we'll have, have to have see one. if it passes. We ought to have one on board. If we don't know what the cost if is. If we don't vote to do an increase, there's no sense in putting that on. Well, there's, there's no, no sense in doing do an increase if we don't have a plan to follow. I think we ought to come up with that money somehow now and get it started. Well, I, well yeah, I agree. We've been at, he's been asking for it for years. I think we're way past it, but but that's my. But I think we need to have that on the agenda as well. It's going to take several months. To yeah, and I, and I and I think I think it's important that we get that on there. I think the immediate need is to make sure we vote on whether we're going to do it or not. But maybe I maybe yeah. we need that other stuff first. So. Well, I think to have that as Jeff. Patient. She's got she's got it on there, and I told her I'd get back with her. Obviously, I set I set the agenda on Monday before noon for next week. So we have I have a couple of days to get with her, and make sure I get all the wording right before we set the agenda. All the items will be on there. I'll make sure we get that done. I may reach out to Steve or the Chief just to make sure we get the wording right, so we've got everything covered. So. Any other discussion on the post tax increase or questions? Fire Chief. Uh, just real quick, I handed out a couple of dollars. And this one was a little card for that 101. It's going to be at the station. We're going to uh, do a light uh, dinner, lunch, chili dog, some chips and a drink. And uh, But I would come in some company clothes if you thinking of getting a suit or not. I hope some of you will. Kind of like what you're wearing there. Yeah, just perfect. <laughs> slide, in, slide into them and boom. So are we, do we get uh, the opportunity to put some turnouts on and drag some hoses? We're going to have a car there to cut up. So drag some hoses, climb a ladder. So each one of you should be contacted by uh, the fire EMS personnel between now and then. So a personal invite. So, uh, Hopefully to see y'all there. It's on Monday night. Uh, next thing, uh, this insurance thing. I've been getting a lot of these from the insurance companies to fill out, and uh, it's more of an informational thing than anything. And then the uh, is this other, just for our information? Yeah, what you're getting? it's just started in the last four to six months. They're sending these out. To have me fill these out, and uh, I don't know if it's just because of property loss or what's happened. The other one is just an information <coughs> paper. Uh, basically, I think if we keep heading down this road that we're going, I think the fire district probably needs to look at some of the equipment we're buying. I think we need to either get some tankers that certified or built to haul water not be relying on some army truck that we put together for a while and this would be for a structure protection as you actually look this over it's uh, gives you the footage and the miles to uh, the closest water source look it over it's just a, a information thing it's a concern to me but that's why I wanted to bring it up, have you guys put your eyes on it, ask questions about it, give me a call if you have questions on it. Just let me know what your thoughts are. There's some big houses going on, it looks like. What's the trip like that cost? What are you thinking? Well, some, some of these areas, we probably couldn't even get a 
I mean, I'm talking like a semi type that's going to pack 20, 30,000 gallons of water. With a tanker. And then you've got to have somebody that's qualified to drive. I mean, you're going to have CDLs. Currently, right now, under the emergency services, the size of our equipment, we don't have to have a CDL. But as you look at this, I just, you know, and I don't know that that's the answer, but uh, it's just, I mean, these are just a few that I know of just since January. So look them over. I just, you know, it's out there for information. It's just concerning this fire chief. But that's a lot of value. So these so, are structures that have been approved since January that don't have sprinklers or are too far away from the hydrant? No, there's no fire suppression whatsoever. I mean, that I, so, the, uh, so this would otherwise have been addressed by the district, but now it's the county it has not. You know, they're uh, addressing it in a different way. I don't know what they're addressing it in, but we're not addressing it. But you're saying it has no, please have no fire. Yeah, the ones that really would have to have fire sprinklers. Or they would have probably chose that. I mean, yeah. the fire district, I think, is all of you know, back for a long time, has had three choices. They can bring water source to them, they can hook to a culinary system, or they can spring them. And those have been the three options the fire district's had for 15, 20 years. But to my knowledge, there is no fire suppression in any of these structures. So you want to get the county manager and the building club together and just just check out their situation? They're approved. My, I just don't like to see us heading down this road. I mean, we've been, what, three, four, five months, and I mean, you look at $32 million, it's unprotected. I guess I, it's an issue that we're heading down the road. Of the fire district's going to have to change their thoughts or how they fight fire, to, uh, in, at least in this county, too try to offset this somehow. Uh, I think um, tomorrow in the county council meeting during the yeah, we'll report this something we could talk to Mike about and just you know find out because maybe you think they've suppressed it in another way. And that would be something if they wanted to get together would be more than that. Anyway. Other than that, unless you have questions, that's a lot of Chief. How'd the parade go this year? You're with your daughter, is that yeah, correct? It was awesome. Well, we missed the old, you. The old 68 Brown, I looked pretty good. We <laughs> missed you. It was the first year I didn't, wasn't on that. It was the old fire truck. <laughs> we're going to announce the fire truck. Yeah, yeah, we did. So. Did you? Well, well it had we probably had a thank chief. That's chief probably where we're going then. If we we ought to thank Chief way, for yeah, the last several right. years for helping us out there. Yeah. So. Okay, thanks, yeah. Chief. Thanks. I don't have anything to present unless there's any questions or concerns that I can address. Who's your barber? <laughs> I do it's getting higher. I want to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look sharp. You look this sharp. just naturally happens. <laughs> now, I really, I do want to know who your barber is because I think I want to try that now. I can't do as much. <laughs> there's a, there's that, that hair, all that hair product grow grow more hair. <laughs> you cannot grow that hair. Oh, what, what did you say? That my hair product is falls in my hair. I don't even know. I'm sorry. We dug you. I'm sorry. I should not have there, Clay. Clay, how's our fire man? Then I don't give a damn who you are. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Steve don't, Steve don't need that name. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Fire danger work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Troy, that's probably Troy. Troy. Anything? So, um, yeah, we've had pretty slow fires the last few weeks. Um, yeah. We haven't seen a lot of rain, but our humidities have been up really high, so which helps our finer, flashier fuels. So. Um, I did bring Ryan LaFontaine to introduce himself to you guys. Uh, he's actually accepted the full-time fire management officer position. So he's actually Steve Rudder's replacement. So, um, Oh, big shoes. Yeah, Very huge big shoes. shoes. Yeah. Do you have as many stories as he does? Not, not nearly as many Dang. stories as he does, but I'm getting there. You'll get there. <laughs> <good. laughs> he actually came from Lone Peak Conservation Center. He was on the hotshot crew, so he got a lot of fire experience, and uh, he's been a... Quite a joy to work with. So. Well, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks you. for having me. Look forward to working with you. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Unless you guys have any questions. <laughs> Still pretty green up high, Troy. It is really green We've up high. We've been getting a lot of rain too. It seems like at the higher elevations. Yeah. 
So we, we do have an active fire that is burning in Wasatch County. Um, last I heard it was 20, 20 something acres. Uh, we were up there last week and it wasn't even smoke. And is it the same one that you said was a managed yeah. reservation? Yeah, on Long, Long Ridge, yeah, right off of Reservation Ridge. So, But it's on the Ashley, but it's just right in Wasatch County. And they're not fighting it? No, no. Okay. Ben, you have anything for us? I don't. Anything else we need to address? Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wow. <laughs> Record.